Yo. What is up, second mother lovers? Oh, us. How y'all doing, second mother lovers? Here's another episode of Real Husbands of Hollywood. Okay, every time the episode starts, it says last time on Real Husbands of Hollywood, and then they show a new scene, and I'm like, wait a minute. And I'm running back to my DVR like, did I miss an episode? I know I'm not the only one to do that. Like, I always, like, go back like, wait a minute. I must have missed something. And I never miss it, so I guess they just trying to be funny. It's just another parody or whatever, but it confused me. Oh my God, so when it was popping bottles and Trey Songz, you know, and the group was in another uh, booth, and, you know, him and, his, and Kevin Hart and his assistant was in one, and I swear, as soon as Kevin Hart's assistant started making it rain on himself with the alcohol, I was like, I'm feeling a little real Chris Bosh's. And right when I said that in my head, Trey Songz was like, yo, is he Chris Boshing, Boshing himself? I was like, they wrong. They wrong for saying that. I mean, I was wrong for thinking it, but I hadn't said it out loud until he did. So now, because I'm recapping, I can say it. I laughed so damn hard when the bill came and he was like, man, we spent $100,000. How much y'all spent? He was like, uh, nothing. We were comped. He was like, well, who? He said, they comped us. He was like, who's they? Who is it? I was like, that is so messed up. You trying to be a baller, shot collar, 20-inch rims when you only got 12s, but you keep them clean. Like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. I ain't trying to keep up with the Kardashians. I don't know about y'all, but, you know, I keep up with the Johnsons down, down the street. Damn, when they show Big Boy, I was like, you ain't Big Boy no more. You should call yourself Medium Boy or something. Because he, y'all, if anybody's from L.A. or if you just Google Big Boy and how he used to look, if you don't know who he is, man, Big Boy used to be a big boy. I'm talking about, hey, hey, hey. Like, he was huge, you know what I'm saying? So, to see that he slimmed down, you know, and it doesn't look bad on him. Like, he really looks like a different person. Like, I mean, I don't know. I was like, is that really you up in there? That's him. That's all the way here. When that fool slipped on the rocks, he was like, why are they here? I was like, why are you always falling and getting beat up in every episode? That's what I want to know. Oh, my God. When him and <laughs> Estelle was talking, and, you know, she, you know, her and her accent, he was like, Twitter. He was like, it's not Twitter, it's Twitter. <laughs> it was just funny because he was really making fun of her accent. I mean, it's kind of like that pink elephant in the room. Like, a lot of people are like, no, it's not Twitter. But people do that to me. They correct me all the time. I say iron. People say, no, it's iron. I'm like, Iron. I run. Iron. Y'all know how we country. Whatever. Who gonna judge me? Oh, Lord. When he was saying uh, Big Boy had on the makeup or whatever, he was like, <laughs> drag queen. I was like, you don't get to call this grown man a drag queen in his face and think it's okay. Oh, my God. When he said Boris Kojo was shaped like an Oscar, but we never get one, I died a little bit on my couch, and then I woke up. I was like, oh, my God. He really is shaped like an Oscar. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my God, when he was at the uh, publisher's office and they was like talking to the man and the man was trying to give him a deal, he was like, you make my balls itch. You know, these are my boys. And then the minute he said seven figures, he was like, well, hold on. That fool went to the corner and called this man. And the sad part is that the man stayed on hold while he was selling training. You need to talk to this man. We need to do this deal. I'm like, why are y'all even entertaining this little man? <laughs> was I the only one that noticed that his golf club was bigger than him? I was like, you need like the mini golf ones, the little bitty ones they give to the kids at putt-putt. Yeah, to make you look like you taller. Did anybody notice that his shirt said property of my kids or whatever? But did anybody else notice that the sleeves was like up here? I was like, Kevin, can you even think in that shirt? That shirt is so damn tight. I was speaking of shirts. Y'all like my shirt? It's Trinity University. How crazy is this shirt, right? Y'all ain't gonna even believe why I got this shirt. Can we say the and rift? Yes, I did. 99 cents. Boom. No tax. Ay. I really did. I told y'all it's crazy what you can find in a thrift store. I was like, uh-uh, I gotta get this. It's my name all up on this shirt and stuff. It was mine in the beginning. I shouldn't even have to pay for this. It's my university. Oh my God, when they went to go fight Kevin Hart after the book came out, why did Robin Thicke jump out, with that, jump out the car with that big old hockey stick? I was like, how did the hockey stick even fit in the car? I was like, that is some, <laughs> some non-black stuff. Ain't no black person going there. We jump out with what? Everybody always have what? A baseball bat, a stick, or that, uh, what is the, the wrench from the car? That's what we jump out with. This fool had a hockey stick. That was so messed up. He told Oliver, you got to stay out. Cameraman, you can come in. I, I was like, you, you can't. How you going to have him come in the dungeon with you but not your assistant? You wrong. Wrong. But why does this fool have on a gas mask? Like, what is the purpose of the gas mask? And when they start threatening Oliver or whatever, they was like, you know what? We going to beat him up. We going to do this. We going to do that. Kevin Hart said, don't you worry, Oliver. Oliver. There's no way in hell that I'm going to open this door. I was like, see, this type of person you don't want on your team. These are the people that are going to leave you high and dry when it's time to go down. When they said, what is the code? And that fool said, it is 0001. The same amount of album sales as you. <laughs> Nick Cannon, I was like, 
Did he just wham him? Yes, he did. That was funny. I, I, I laughed. When that lady was uh, getting her autographs from all the people or whatever, and she tried, and Nick Cannon tried to sign it, he was like, she was like, but you, you're not even in the book. I don't want your autograph. And he was like, I'm going to give it anyway. Who should I make it out to? She was like, Mariah's biggest fan. And that fool started humping the crap out that book. Like, I was like, is that why you got them, them damn twins now? I was like, oh, okay. I was like, you ain't have to violate that lady book. But I did notice it was a couple of comedians, female comedians in the audience. Congratulations to those ladies that made it on the set. I was like, oh, look at it is really good to see people that's in LA that's I know been working hard. I ain't even been on the scene as long as them, long as them people. Oof. Mm -mm. I know. I'm always doing shameless plug. Beside note, the jacket that the uh that the girl that was playing Kevin's ex-wife had on, I got that jacket. I should insert a picture of it right now. Yes. Kevin, I know you didn't ask for my opinion, but you really need to call your boys. You're right. I didn't ask for your opinion. Oh my God, y'all. When they had that exchange, Big Boy and Kevin Hart, I was like, I need to use that. Because there's so many times people are like, you know, I know it's just my opinion and it really don't count. You, you know what? You're absolutely right. It really don't count. So you probably could keep it right where your ass is. Why did that fool golf cart skid or whatever? They went and threw him in the water. Y'all remember that game when we used to do the bridge or whatever? And you do turn somebody around or whatever, but it's some fool that always lets somebody go and then somebody, somebody end up hurt and then everybody hiding because they don't want to get in trouble by the teacher. I ain't got no time for them reindeer games. Anyway, sucker mother lovers, as always, this is definitely long enough. I'm still sticking to it. I'm still watching The Real Husbands of Hollywood. They say there's, what, three more episodes left? Are you guys going to be watching the game? I think the game is about to start in like a week or something. Are y'all watching? I, want, I think I want to watch. I'm going to give it one more chance. I, I just want to see how Lauren London is going to do on this show. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for all the positive comments. And shout out to my new subscribers. Welcome to this crazy ass world we call Suck Mother Loverville. <laughs> yeah. All right, Suck Mother Lovers. I'm out. An opinion is like an asshole. Everybody got one.